Women have experienced periods since before we fully evolved as a species. If you have ever wondered about how women dealt with their hygiene in early days, let's take a rewind of menstruation and walk you through its history. During the ancient times, the Egyptians used a tampon made of papyrus fibers. The ancient Greeks used a wood wrapped in lint as a preventive method to control the flow. Have you ever wondered how cramps were treated during the medieval times? During those times, there was a view that cramps were a reminder of Eve's original sin. There was a common belief in those times that toads and frogs could cure heavy menstrual flow. To cure such heavy cramps and flow, women would either boil the toad and wear the ashes near the vagina. Another cure that was followed was the powdered toad medicine. Since ancient India, menstruation has been seen with diverse views. It is often considered a purification period and not dirty, an impure bodily function and was deemed auspicious in many cultures. A menstruating woman was treated like a goddess as if society was amazed at how women could bleed out of their bodies and not die. In some regions of Assam and Orissa, the rituals of the menstruation of the goddesses are celebrated during the monsoon season. An annual festival called Ambubachi Mela is held every year in Assam when goddess Kamakya is believed to be on her menstrual cycle. The four days festival attracts millions of pilgrims. It is a common belief that both the fertile earth and woman on menstruation must be celebrated and allowed to rest. Earlier, lack of medical knowledge, research and education were primary reasons that bred stigma and superstitions which are prevalent in society even today.